Here we have a book by James Patterson and Richard DeLalo. It's The Store. Let's take a look at the back cover. I can't stop running. Not now, not ever. I look up and see a camera-packed drone hovering above me, recording my every step. How could I have forgotten? Drones zoom through the sky in pairs and groups alone. Tiny cameras dot the corners of every building. In this New York, a person is never really alone. I clutch the box that holds the manuscript. I'm about to push my way through the revolving door when I pause. I feel like I could cry, but instead I extend the middle finger of my right hand and flip it at the drone. Yeah, this is an interesting book by James Patterson, who is an extremely uh, prolific writer. We have some more comments. The store is watching you. Jacob and Megan Brandis have gotten jobs with the mega successful ultra secretive store. Seems perfect. Seems safe. But their lives are about to become anything but perfect. Anything but safe. Always watching. Especially since Jacob and Megan have a dark secret of their own. They're writing a book that will expose the store. A forbidden book. A dangerous book. Always. And if the store finds out, there's only one thing Jacob, Megan, and their kids can do. Run for their bloody lives which is probably impossible because the store is always watching. Yeah, James Patterson is a great author. This one's with Patterson and Delilah. He writes a lot of books uh, with, with other authors. He does that a lot. Um, I think that's cool. Um, this one is for my sister, Mary Ellen, who's always had my back since the 1950s. Wow, what are you crazy, right? 50s. The store. Yeah, and... You know, one of the things about the James Patterson books I, I like is a lot of them uh, have, they're really compartmentalized. So here's chapter eight, okay? And that's it. And then here's chapter nine, and that's it. Look at that. Look how short chapter nine was. So it's one, two, maybe two and a half pages, you know, almost. Um, so, you know, that's not so bad, right? So they're pretty small sections. So if you're limited on time and, and you want to read a Patterson book, you can just read a couple chapters and call it quits, you know? Um, you know, there are things called bookmarks <laughs> and people use those, uh, but I like books that have, um, this type of compartmentalization, not just novels like this one, but, you know, um, you know, other, other technical books, mathematics books. I like that. I like that structure. Um, yeah, it's nice. You know, I like when, when authors organize things very nicely and, and Patterson does that. I like that. The naming of the chapters and short chapters. <laughs> Patterson is a great author. He's been writing for a long time. Here he is here. James Patterson received the Literary Award for Outstanding Service to the American Literary Community at the 2015 National Book Awards. He holds the Guinness World Record for the most number one New York Times bestsellers, and his books have sold more than 350 million copies worldwide. Wow, a tireless champion. Wow, of the power of books and reading, Patterson created a children's book imprint, Jimmy Patterson, whose mission is simple. You want every kid who finishes a Jimmy book to say, please give me another book. He has donated more than 1 million books to students and soldiers and funds over 400 teacher education scholarships at 24 colleges and universities. Crazy, right? He has also donated millions to independent bookstores and school libraries. Millions. Uh, Patterson invests proceeds from the sales of Jimmy Patterson books in pro reading initiatives. And here it talks about Richard DeLalo. Is he a former advertising executive who lives in Manhattan with his wife? Yeah, so... Really cool. James Patterson um, is a legend, and this is a great book. Take care.